In this video, we will learn about Python decorators. Starting with the standard definition, we will move on to some real world examples. We will learn to apply decorator function to the function accepting arguments. And at the very end, we will learn about class decorators too. So keep watching. Hi there, welcome to Saral Gyan. In today's video, we are going to learn about Python decorators. If you will read about decorators, it will appear complex, but in this video, I will make it easy for you to understand it with some real world examples. So decorator is just a function that takes another function as an argument and add extra feature or behavior to another function without altering the source code of original function. The Python decorators take advantage of the fact that the function in Python are first class functions. It means that we can pass a function as an argument to other function. We can return function and assign functions to the variable. First of all, I will explain how the decorators work using a general example. And then I will show you the real world example. So let's open a new Python file. Subble decorators. So I have opened a new file and here I will create a simple print function define a function and it will print a function then and now above this we will create a decorator function so we will name it decorator function itself and then it will take a function as an argument and then inside it we will define a wrapper function which will return the function and finally the decorator function will return the wrapper function here we won't be adding the brackets because decorator function will be returning the wrapper function and won't be executing it and now to decorate our function we will do decorated underscore function is equal to decorator underscore function and a function and now to execute it we will do decorated function and add the brackets and if we save it and run it we get an output that a function ran so here our function has been decorated but since we haven't added any functionality to it we can't see any difference so to add a functionality up here in the wrapper function we will add a print statement print and i will be using f strings wrapper function ran before and here we will say func dot name here I have used the f strings and if you want to know more about the f strings I will leave the link to the detailed tutorial in the description below. So now if we save it and run our function. So here we get a print statement that wrapper function ran before a function and then the print function from a function. Ran. So here we have added a new functionality to a function without altering its code. And instead of creating this decorated function, we can decorate our function by a simple syntax. So we will comment it out and above here we will say at the rate of decorator function and let's save it and then we will simply run the a function and it will still print the wrapper function print statement and then the a function print statement. So from now on we will be using this method to decorate a function and it is a general convention. Till now our function doesn't accept any argument. But what if our original function accepts some argument. Let's create a new function and call it a b function. So here I'll create a new function. And it will take two arguments that is name and age. And then it will print. name is age years old so now if we decorate this function with the same decorator function 
and then we will execute the function with two variables let's do it with using sarl and 30 so if we save it and run it we get a type error that wrapper function takes zero position argument but two were given so let's close it to overcome this problem up here in our wrapper function we will pass args and keyword arguments and down there in this function again we will be passing args and keyword arguments so if we save it now and run it wrapper function and before b function sorrel is 30 year old so it has decorated our b function moving on we will take a real world example which will not only explain how the decorator functions work but also explain in which cases we need to use these decorator function so i will comment this out and down here i will create a new function so we will call it simple divide function and it will take two arguments a and b and it will simply print a divided by b so let's run this with number four and two so we will be doing simple underscore divide and then passing that number four and two and if we run it we get 2.0 as an answer and if we run it using 2 and 4 we will get 0 0.5 as an answer but say for some reasons you want the dividend to be always greater than the divisor no matter what the order of the pass argument is so to do that we can simply swap the variable using a if statement here so we will say if b is greater than a a comma b is equal to b comma a and now we run it even with passing 2 and 4 as an argument we'll get 2.0 as a result so now the question is if we can do it like this why do we need to use the decorators so there could be a case that you are working on a project and you don't have access to this original function or there are multiple functions and you want to make this change to all the functions so in that case the decorators come handy so we will create a new decorator here and we'll say define my decorator and it will again take a function and then we will create a wrapper function which will take a and b as arguments and then we'll move this logic above here and we will run the function with the arguments a and b and finally we will return the wrapper function and now i will decorate my original function with this decorator so my decorator and if we save it and run it we have got two as an answer the other two examples of decorator which we can use in real world cases are timer and logging decorators Say you have hundreds of functions running in your project and now you want to time all those functions and also add logging to them. You can easily do that by creating the decorator function for timing and logging and then decorating each function using them. So first of all we will create a timing decorator. So let's comment this out and we will move above and here we will create a timer which will take func as a function and then inside it we will import time and then create a wrapper function which will take arguments and keyword arguments and then we'll set the start time and then we'll run the function using result is equal to func with arguments and keyword arguments and then we'll calculate the end time and finally we will print a statement print to minus start seconds to run and we forgot to add a colon here and then we will indent it and down here we will be returning the wrapper fun function then to this function 
we'll remove this decorator and add the timer decorator and to add some time we here we will do import time and in there we will be doing time dot sleep for one second let's save it uncomment this and if we run it our function ran and it says it took 1.001 seconds to run so using this timer decorator we have easily decorated our function and have calculated the time taken by this function and if you have more than one function you can decorate them using at the rate of timer and you will get the time for each of these functions and now i will show you how to create a logging decorator and for that we will create a new function called my logger which will again take func as a function then we will import logging and then set the basics of logging logging dot basic config and the file name would be func dot name dot log and level of would be info this is the basic configuration which we need to set for logging and if you want to know more about logging i have a detailed tutorial on it and i will leave the link to it in the description below and then we will create our wrapper function and it will again take and quarks and inside it we will be doing logging dot info and then we will be creating a info statement we will say ran with args and quags and then it will return the function with args and quags and finally the whole logger will return the function and if you save it and if you run it we have got a syntax error we have to do return wrapper function here so now we have created our logger function and here down we will decorate our b function with my logger and, and we will save it and run it and here you will see that we have got a new log file called b underscore function dot log and, and if we open it we have got the statement that it runs with arguments are around 13 no keyword arguments were passed so if you want to decorate a function with more than one decorator say you want to time this function and also log it so you can simply add at the rate of my logger above here and let's comment this out and uncomment this out so we will save it and we will run it so here we have created a a underscore function dot log file but down there we have got an output that wrapper underscore function took the second however in a timer function it should have printed the name of the function that is a underscore function similarly if we reverse the order if we move this above and we run it now so now it says a underscore function took this seconds but here we have got a wrapper underscore function dot log instead of a underscore function dot log. This is because when we decorate it like this, so it is equivalent to doing my underscore logger and then timer and then a underscore function. So here when we apply timer decorator to a underscore function, it returns a wrapper function which we have returned here. That's why we got, got wrapper underscore function dot log instead of a underscore function dot log so to overcome this function above here we will make an import and we will say from func tools import wraps which itself is a wrapper function and then we will be wrapping our function with this so here we will be doing at the rate of wraps func and in our logging also we will be saying at the rate of wraps func so now we will delete these three log files and now if you save it and run it 
we have got a underscore function in this print statement and also a log file as a underscore function dot log so we have overcome this problem using another wrapper here till now we have using the function decorator and which is also the general convention but i will also show you how to create a class decorator we will create a new class and then we will pass the original function in the init method so we will say define init and it will take self and func as two arguments and then self dot func will be equal to func and then to mimic the wrapper function we will create a call method inside it it will take self args and keyword arguments and then we'll copy this and we will paste it here and instead of wrapper function we'll say call method and here we will have to change it into self.func and self.func so down here instead of these two loggers at the rate of decorator class then we will run the let's comment this out save it and run it so now it says call method ran before a function and then a function ran so the class decorators give the similar results now we have learned all the basics and some advanced features of the python decorators and you should start using it let me know in the comment section below for which use case decorators were helpful to you and this is it for this video if you have liked the video please give us a thumbs up and share it with someone who might find it helpful and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications as it will keep us motivated and we will be creating more helpful videos for you thanks for now bye bye